some of the greatest saints were some of the greatest sinners at first, but they took up their cross every day and they pursued God. They pursued that, that relationship with him. And in doing so, they became holy simply by, by choosing to try. coming back to this idea of the priesthood, this idea of dedicating my life to Christ in a radical way. I wanted to really pursue that, that visible symbol. It was all about that being that visible symbol of the church. By existing, just by being in public, showing people Christ, showing Christ, people Christ in a, a way that they had never experienced it before. You know, a lot of people don't experience religious life, or they don't experience you know, priesthood. They don't meet good priests or good or good religious. And so I wanted to be out there you know, showing people this is this is who Christ is. You know, Christ uh, Christ is in me. Journey, searching for something where I knew there had to be more to my life. I think I, I knew that the things I was throwing myself into, the drugs and the alcohol and like the party scene, they weren't fulfilling me. They were definitely like during the time it was it was fun. Um, but it, it was this constant hunger. It was, I always wanted more. I never left feeling satisfied. So I just made a decision that day to not like all of a sudden like be a Jesus freak and like do all this stuff, but to just stop, I guess how I put it is choosing hell. Stop doing the things that I knew weren't fulfilling me, that I knew weren't making me happy. For the first time in my life, I really felt hope. I really felt like I was working towards something instead of just working towards, I guess, destruction. I knew that uh, a leadership aspect in the faith is what I was called to because I think really we're, we're all called in some aspect to be leaders in our faith. Uh, whatever our faith is, like if you truly believe something, then you want to share it with others. Uh, whether it's like, a, you could even draw the comparison of like a really good movie. When you watch a really good movie, uh, you know, if you watch it alone, immediately you're like, oh, like, I gotta watch it again with my friends. Uh, so that was this mentality I had was realizing uh, I want to bring other people into this. This has given me hope. It's given me uh, sort of this, this, not immediate fulfillment, but it's definitely given me this thing to aspire towards uh, and hope. Um, and I want to bring other people in that. I want to show people the love I found. Outside that and the cabin, and then the church has been my whole thing. I've been able to to be embraced by it, and I kind of I wanted just to be there. I just wanted to keep that that happiness, that joy that comes from that place. As a normal person in my hometown, in my own situation, we don't have that much opportunities because most of us, or most of the kids, they just go to high school and that's it. Then you don't have like that career to pursue and to help others. But as sisters, we do. And I saw that, like I saw that as a sister, I'm kind of, I'm able to help others. And at the same time, I'm kind of close with God. And besides dealing with my temptation or dealing that I know that I'm weak, I also have that deep desire of being just with there with Jesus. And that's, that's another thing that I knew being as, in a, in, as a sister in a religious, I would have that. Only later in my life, uh, after I had gone out uh, into the world and had done some other things, I was a teacher, I, did, I worked in social work and, and, and other stuff that, uh, that, that I had kind of a, a new realization of, of what it is to be called by God. His invitation was an invitation of love. I can remember really vividly, you know, that moment where you have kind of a, almost a mystical encounter. And for me, that, that was, it pertained to just thinking about Christ on the cross. I was thinking about all the people in my, my life, anybody that I'd ever loved and anybody who never loved me, and how all of that love was just sort of a drop in the ocean of the love of somebody who was really willing to die for me. And out of that realization of that love came this idea, I have to respond. Well, Aristotle talks about um, everything that's created having a unique purpose. And when they fulfill that purpose, then they are happy if they're most fulfilled. And for people, Aristotle believed you know, that the greatest purpose for a human was to be virtuous. You know, in the same way, the church believes that we were created to be in relationship with God. We were created to to share life with Him. Each of us has this innate desire to be holy, to be in a relationship with God. Whether we recognize it or not, everyone feels restless in their lives and will continue feeling that restlessness until we find that relationship with God, until we find that fulfillment with Him.